As we've promised in our previous video tutorial, we're going to teach you how to create a styro name for your party backdrop. So let's start! I'm using Photoshop to create a template for the styro name. If you can draw your design by hand, you can skip part 1 of this tutorial and just draw your design directly on the styro. Watch out for part 2 of this tutorial. Create a new file and adjust the measurements to the size of styro name that you like. So if for this project, I change the width to 24 inches and for the height, I use the same measurement. You can easily adjust the height later once you're done. Type the celebrant's name and enlarge it. I want the styro name to have white stroke around it, so what I'm doing right now is to add another layer under the text layer in a different background color. This way, I'll be able to see and adjust the stroke to the thickness that I want. Select the text layer, right click, and choose stroke. Now, adjust the color from black to white and adjust the size to your liking. Take note that the position should be outside instead of inside. Right-click again on the text layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. This time, you want to create another stroke which should serve as guide when you're cutting your template. Now that you're done adding the black stroke, you can hide or delete the layer with the background color, adjust the size of your text layer to the width of your file, and crop out the extra space. Save your design as a PDF file. Open it using a PDF reader. What I'm using is Foxit Reader, which you can download for free. Now click the print icon, choose Tile Large Pages, and click OK. This is how it looks like after printing. 